size of a critter right there. Not very well. Nice one. Got one. What is going on my guys? I got a new product for you. So Gambler came out with a series, the FF series, forward facing series. It's a line of baits, soft plastics, as well as terminal tackle, specifically designed to improve your results when it comes to forward facing sonar. It's, it's all the rage and there's a good reason for it. On tour, guys are catching more fish. They're catching fish in places that we never thought there were bass. But one of the most important parts about terminal tackle, as well as tackle that's made specifically for forward facing sonar, is seeing the bait. That's one of the most enabling features in producing a bait specifically designed for forward facing sonar and what I have for you right here is the new Gambler FFS jig head now you can say it looks kind of like a ball head kind of like your standard Demiki rig well it acts in both of those functions you can use it as a Demiki rig you can use it like a ball head with small swim baits like a Kai Tech uh, you can use it with the new FFS series that guy right there, the plastics that show up better on forward facing sonar. But there's some real key intricacies that really differentiate this jig head with your standard ball heads. And, and I'm gonna use a metaphor to describe it. One of the features that you'll immediately see is these ridges on the head. When it comes down to it, forward facing sonar is a lot like radar. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with like the stealth fighter, right? One of the concepts behind the stealth fighter is creating a very smooth plane, a very smooth surface so when those radar waves actually hit that plane, they, they don't reflect. They don't knock back and send a signal letting whoever's on the other side know that there's a plane there. Those smooth features allow that wave to travel over an object, thus passing over it and not giving a return. I think you can kind of see where I'm going. So these ridges on this jig head are specifically designed to knock back that wave, to, to reflect that wave. No matter what angle, no matter what depth this jig head is at, it will deflect that wave being sent out by your forward facing sonar, just like my active target too, and send a signal that's clearer and more defined back to your sonar, back to your graph, so that you can see it better on forward facing sonar. So the things that you can do with this, it's it's super versatile. Any place that you'd use some kind of lead head, so if you're Demiki rig fishing, well, we have the new FFS Minna right there. So this has a, I think it's a one-aught fine wire hook. There's a small wire keeper on there, which actually makes it viable to use with elastic style plastics as well. But what you can do is, is just thread it on. It's super straightforward. Um, you use that keeper. Once you get it over, you just press on it a little bit to sort of engage that keeper. You have a drop bait. You can specifically drop right directly to fish that are right in front of you. One of my favorite ways to use this though, and we'll especially be using it like this going into fall and winter, is, is with a small swim bait, uh, a Kai Tech, a little easy. And it fits perfectly on there. So I got a little 3.3 Kai Tech right there. All you'll do is just thread this on just like you would your standard ball head that you would normally use. It's super simple. Pop her through, run it up to the keeper, and then pop that hook through. But what you're actually gonna achieve is a better return. You're gonna get better visualization using your forward-facing sonar because the ridge is on that jig head, and you're gonna be able to throw more specifically and more directly to every fish. That is the FFF series jig head from Gambler. Check it out. It gives you an enormous return on forward-facing sonar where visualization, seeing your bait, seeing how it's placed is 100% key to engaging more fish to bite.